in there again. The English have a genius for euphemism. Other countries might have a Minister of the Interior. We in Britain prefer to have the comfortable sounding Home Secretary, which sounds as though it might be a piece of old fashioned furniture, some kind of writing desk perhaps. Every single Home Secretary until 2007 was a white man, and this arrangement seemed to work well enough. Since 2010, white man has occupied the post only once, and that was for less than a week in 2022. Every other Home Secretary over the last 14 years has been either a woman, a member of a visible minority, or both of the above. It seems now to have become an unwritten but fixed rule that white men should not be given the job of Home Secretary. What I find fascinating about this setup is not whether or not it's an improvement or a deterioration. True, some of the Home Secretaries in recent years have been pretty dreadful, but then there have certainly been awful white male Home, home Secretaries as well. One thinks of Reginald Maudling, for instance. No, the interesting point about this constitutional change, for that is what it is in effect, is that it has been undertaken without any consultation and without anybody even admitting that there has been a change, or that a decision has been made by successive Prime Ministers to adhere to such a relatively new policy. Hand on heart, when Keir Starmer was elected, did any viewer seriously imagine that he would appoint a white man to the office of Home Secretary? Of course not. We, the general public, see clearly enough what is going on, but we have not been told why it is going on, or whose idea this was in the first place. We never will be told either, for the simple reason that the pretense is being maintained that this is simply a visible manifestation of the abolition from public life of sexism and racism. In other words, Home Secretaries are now being chosen for their abilities, and if it just so happens that it's women and visible minorities who have been selected over the last decade and a half, that is sheer coincidence. The process itself is colour and gender blind, and talent is now allowed to rise to the top. Nobody, of course, believes this any more than we believe that the fact that the Chancellor of the Exchequer is a woman and the Foreign Secretary a black man is really just coincidental. Three of the four great offices of state are occupied by women or minorities, and this has been, as it was during the previous administration, a political decision connected more with the optics of the situation rather than any merit on the part of those holding the posts. It is just another aspect of the essential dishonesty of Britain's modern political scene.